Good morning, fellow hikers. I'm T-Rex, and this is the Pen Pal. The Pen Pal is an ultralight electric sleep pen inflator, and coming in at 11 and a half grams, it is the lightest electric sleep pen inflator that I know of. Um, it's uh, it's compatible with a wide variety of sleeping pads using these detachable uh, valve couplers or adapters, whatever you would like to call them, and. It's rather simple in its use. So you attach the pad pal's valve adapter to your sleeping pad, and then you plug in the USB end of a USB-A to USB-C cable into the pad pal, and then the USB-A end into your power source. The pad pal will wait two seconds to power up, just in case your fingers are in the way. And then after that, it will ramp up speed and then sustain its speed uh, or sustain its inflation period for three minutes before shutting itself down, just in case you forget about it. It doesn't use that much battery power either. If you have a 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank and you're doing one inflation a day for seven days, it will use only three to four percent of that battery power, depending on how much of the uh, three minute inflation cycle you let it go for. So not that much power at all. Uh, and the Pad Pal is completely modularly designed. I designed every single component on this thing to be uh, serviceable using only the file on a Victorinox uh, classic SD knife, which is a very popular knife for hikers. Um, and I made a video on how exactly this all comes apart and stuff. But the idea behind that was that if you're someone like a through hiker hiking out one of the large triple crowns here in the States, uh, then it is most likely you'll be on the trail long enough that the motor could potentially die on you. And so carrying a spare two gram motor in your repair kit and then simply swapping it out while you're in the middle of somewhere like this is not really an issue. Uh, and the added weight of the spare motor is also not that much of an issue either. Uh, so that was one of my main design goals when I was started this project, was to be able to do that. Uh, unfortunately, because of that design goal, I was not able to make it waterproof. So you gotta make sure you keep this thing dry. Um, if you do get it wet, leave it out in the sun and dry it out completely. Do not use it when it's damp or wet or anything like that. Uh, it, could, it could damage the pad pal. Um, and then once it's potentially dry, there's a good chance that it'll still work. Another caveat to the Pad Pal is that currently the motor control board only works with USB-A to USB-C cables, which look like this. The USB-A is the fat end here, and that plugs into your power source, and the USB-C is the skinny oval end that plugs into the Pad Pal. Uh, however, I am in the works on adding USB-C to USB-C cable functionality to the Pad Pal, and hope to have that implemented uh, within the next couple batches. So if you really need that, maybe hold off. Or if you already bought a Pad Pal and you need that functionality, just reach out to me and uh, I'll, I'll arrange to get you a version 4 motor control board that has that functionality to you at cost. Now, for those of you who don't want to buy one from me, the Pad Pal is also open source. I open source the project and I'll leave a link to the GitHub repository that I set up in, my, in the description. And on that GitHub repository, you'll find uh, CAD's step files for modifying the fan duct if you want to and the pad, uh, uh, pad adapters. You'll also find Gerber files for getting the, the custom motor control board manufactured uh, and data sheets on and data sheets and schematics on every single electrical component that's used on that motor control board, as well as the firmware and instructions on how to flash the firmware onto the motor control board. Um, and things like STL files and 3MF files for 3D printing the components if you, if you want to go down that route as well. Uh, and because it's open source, I also hope that potentially if I stop selling these because it just doesn't turn out like the way I wanted to, uh, all those files still exist to, for people to keep maintaining their pad pals to some extent without me having to still offer them. Uh, and that was another huge motivating factor for making the project open source. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just comment in the, in the comment field. I don't know what is we call it. And I'll definitely get back to you uh, as long as I'm not out hiking somewhere like this. Thanks for watching.